Well, congratulations, Zach. It was a great tussle and a really impressive win. Is it nice to get some confidence heading out of the bye? Yeah, I mean, it's just nice to probably get back on even ledger, 6-6, six and, six, and still keep in touch with the top eight. Um, yeah, it's obviously a results-based industry, and uh, we're back in the even ledger, so that was good. I think just the way the boys went about it tonight. Um, we knew Hawthorne were a kick, kick mark team, and they got a lot of it early in that in that um, first half, especially that second quarter, but we're able to sort of rectify it in the, uh, especially in that third quarter where we really blitzed the ball and, um, excuse me, uh, yeah, kicked, kicked a good score in that third quarter and um, sort of put the game away. We saw it. Besides that little patch in the last where they came, but I think overall, just the ability to uh, yeah to turn the ball over in our forward half um, and uh, and then get it generate our scores from that. So that third quarter, that third quarter turnaround is that is that really just based off pressure and effort? Yeah, I mean we felt in that first half we were on top of them, um, even uh, even just in general play. And I think yeah we're up by three goals and they got a couple goals late in that um, second quarter, especially that one on the siren and stuff. So we actually were controlling the game even though the scoreboard might not reflect that. So. I think by the time we got to three-quarter time, the scoreboard was more reflective of how we were dominating the game, and um, yeah, just yeah, just causing forward half turnovers. The guys in the middle put some and, and forward put a lot of pressure on uh, Hawthorne's uh, defence and, and the midfield, and um, yeah, us as backmen sort of played play back tonight. Yeah, us as backmen just enjoyed just being able to step the ground and um, and having uh, not too much free ball out of there, especially in that third quarter. How did you find that experience across halfback? Something you haven't done a hell of a lot in your career? Yeah, not a hell of a lot. I've done probably in the last two years. I've played a couple of games here and there um, like that. And um, yeah, I don't mind it. It's a, it's a good role um, to play there. We didn't really know what Hawthorne were going to do with their stoppages tonight, whether they would send an extra guy up there, which meant we'd have a spare backman kind of thing, or, or whether they'd play six forwards. And um, so we just wanted to have that look. We, uh, yeah, we played with, a, with a, um, one less backman this week. So my role was just to go back there and, and fill that void um, in the back line. And, I said, I've done it a couple of times and um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good role to play and yeah, whatever, whatever the team needs. Against Carlton I played a bit more forward, um, majority of the year I played wing, today was back so it's wherever, uh, wherever the, the team or coaches want me to play, I'll play. And when you're back there, do you feel the wind when Sadi and McKenna go straight past you right there? What's it like to play behind them? play beside them yeah it's great it's uh yeah it's good i mean sometimes i want adam to not take off as much as what he does but um i think uh yeah i think when, when they get up and running they get sort of the overlap handball receive and go that's when they're exciting um they both can take off and really hurt sides and um yeah i think uh, i think when they do that when they um when they just do it at the right time the right opportunity and they come through the middle it's always exciting for us and everyone gets up about and adam finally gets his reward and kicks his first goal for the footy club uh, it's only taken him almost two years so uh, yeah, it was good. You're the most experienced player in the side. What's it been like to see the rise of some of the younger players like Darcy Parrish, Josh Begley really rising in that last quarter and Kyle yeah. Langford as well? Yeah, I think, um, yeah, I especially work uh, real close with Darcy and, and Langers. Um, yeah, we do a lot of stuff during the week together. So just to see um, those guys really put in, in the work over the last sort of 18, to, yeah, 18 months to two years with me and uh, well, with, a lot, with just putting in their own work. But um, yeah, I took Kyle to Colorado last year and just to see the fruits of his labour coming through um, and Darcy just puts in work every week and um, yeah so I think those guys just getting the reward for the actual effort they're putting in to try and improve and, and get better and um, Dill Clark's another one that he's come a long way and um, this year and he just does his role for the side so I think it's great that they're improving and they're putting in good performances but it's got to be consistent week to week and back it up every week and just sort of preaching that with them at the moment just uh, don't be happy that you might play one or two games good games in a row that's you've got to keep backing it up week after week. You do, and next week is another big challenge. Are you looking forward to playing them? Yeah, definitely. Uh, over there, we've got a six-day break and travel over to Perth, so um, definitely looking forward to it. We, uh, yeah, we had a great win over there last year, and um, if we can do that again and, and repeat that, then it'll be, it'll be awesome. Um, yeah, it's nice to get on the plane and jump over to Perth, and a bit warmer weather over there, so uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Well, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks very much for your time. No worries. Thank you.